Yeah, welcome back again. This is still BVI Channel 1. I promised you guys that I'll be bringing you the autumn version of PDP crisis. But he own. <laughs> you know this other one, Mickey's own trouble. You wear skirt and blouse. Autumn own. Now, I'm bad. full of bad. Now, you wear so. Because what do you talk? Hmm. Hey. Talking about Meiti Allah. You know, Meiti Allah is another group of people everyone believes should be designated as a terrorist organization that is the truth because of the massacre that has happened and where they have killed most people when we talk about armed fulanese headsmen and the farmers destroying and ravaging communities it is in Benue state and autumn has this to say about Atiku and his connection with the same people Oh yeah, we could watch. Well, it is unfortunate. Uh, I shouldn't be the one responding to this because I was the one that, uh, unfortunately, our presidential candidate profiled, and it appeared to me that he is uh, working with Meyati Ella uh, because that is the same language that Meyati Ella were saying about me. I have never profiled any Fulani man. I have always qualified any time I call Fulanese. These are Fulanese from Niger, from Mali, from Senegal, from Mauritania, from Libya, from Chad, who have come together and say they will take over our country to become their own. And that is why they have displaced our people. And who on earth will say I should not say that? I am the governor of Benue State. More than two million people are IDPs. And why should I not talk about those who are my enemies and are killing my people? I remain committed. And whatever I have done, whether the law, whatever we're doing in the state, is fully with the support of Benue people. I have their consent. I have the backing of House of Assembly. I have the backing of National Assembly, who are from uh, Benue state. And nobody has the right to profile me and make me look bad before the Fulanese. I have no problem. I have Fulanese in my government. And I have never sent any Fulani man away from Benway State. All that I say is that we have a law in place. Let everybody be law abiding and respected. When this thing came up on my own, these are things that I attempted to avoid. I had sent a chat message to the presidential candidate, our presidential candidate, telling him that he was unfair to me when he made those remarks in uh, Kaduna. And I told him I needed an unreserved apology from him. And the following morning, he chatted back and accepted that the, what was said was not accurate. But all the same, he sincerely apologized to me. But when I started seeing this agitation coming from uh, back home and other parts of the country, I also chatted him that, please, get your media aid to refute this to send this apology to the media so that they will, people will understand what it is. These are things that I was trying to avoid. And unfortunately, nothing has been done. And that is why you see, I read several uh, comments from social media condemning him and saying all kinds of things. And uh, I think what he said about us in Beji was not correct. You can imagine the the the, the the sympathy message from Mr. President through uh, Shehu Gariba. And of course, he said it right because we have disagreed severally on several political issues and national issues that arose. We disagreed, but when the President, Muhammad Buhari, noticed that there was this killing, he sent a sympathy message and simply said that, look, those people should be apprehended. It wasn't going to say that uh, uh, they, they, they should allow people, uh, integrate people so that uh, there will be no more killing. I mean, that was not good enough. And it, it, it was not correct for a presidential candidate who is seeking to rule the people to say that kind of a thing. It was very wrong. And it will appear that he doesn't even reference me and consider me to be uh, a governor of my state. I'm not in his campaign team. Nothing there I'm aware. The people they appointed there, no consent from me and so on so me i remain my own but i'm waiting when the election comes 
we shall vote the election according to the election. <laughs> <laughs> that is it, too. And he had made it very clear, just like his friend in the river state, no PDP in Benue. Because come to think of it, you cannot be supporting those who are killing you. It doesn't work that way. And Autumn has been a strong voice, openly saying it the way it is when it comes to this issue of armed Fulanis, Marudas, destroying and killing innocent people. Benue State has had a huge chunk of victimization. And even the federal government who is playing hide and seek game with this issue, accepted that these Fulanis are, are, are foreigners. Can you imagine? And you see the position of Atiku, his romance with a Meiti Allah. Anyway, your thoughts is as good as mine, but I want you to drop it on the comment section. Let me have your opinion on this. Aka Atiku Diagos and is in this work to retire both APC and PDP. And when he wants to begin this flogging, eh? <laughs> he began from inside PDP and inside APC. That is exactly what is happening. Like I said, and I'll keep saying, <laughs> obedient movement is a spiritual thing. God have anointed Peter Obi to liberate Nigerians from Nigeria. <laughs> you shock you? Yes, that is the truth. To liberate indigenous Nigerians from the impunity of Nigeria in the hands of corrupt, wicked, never do well political class. And that is just the message. Help me share it. We keep bringing these updates to you. And that is why it's important you subscribe on this channel. Drop your comments. I want to have your opinion. Don't forget to like it so that more people will see it. Bye bye for now. I'm just an advocate for good governance.